So there are um, three boards that went in front of the licensing board most recently, um, one in the end of 2023 and then two most recent alumni board. Angletree Brewery for a bear garden at the farmer's market, as well as the rotary rodeo that was in the parking lot, I think, of the mall. Can you explain why Angletree faced more scrutiny compared to the alumni and rodeo events when they went in front of your board? So if I may answer, Anne Marie yep. Fleming. So I was there um, on those meetings. Via garden, I can speak in particular because I did vote against it. Um, as a personal and as a nurse for that, and it was because of the location. The alumni committee was a private event. It was held in the high school and was only for those who were attending. There was not open to the public. I've watched the other videos as well as I heard Angletree come to our town council meeting. This is one of the reasons why we're also talking about this particular okay. incident. The same questions were asked of Angletree that answered them when you said the um, making sure that they were doing everything they were supposed to. Yes. So what is that different from Angletree to the rodeo then? So there was no issue with their ability on how they would do that. But my opinion at that time, and I was very clear in that, was the fact that it was located right in front of the town pool that was going to be open till seven o'clock with a lot of children and unaccompanied youth that would be utilizing. I didn't feel that it was an appropriate location. And I think, I believe that I had said very clearly, if it was in another location, I would not have had an issue with it. If you examine this, right, the Board of License, I think the first question they have to answer is, were all the requirements met for the particular license to be issued, right. but they are allowed, if th let's say that those are all successfully met. Yep. Are they allowed then to impose restrictions and rules for the issuance of that particular license? And the answer is yes, they can issue. Uh, that's what the, the charter says, that they can issue you know, rules and regulations. I think when I when I look at the three different cases, those rules and regulations are opaque, right? So we had a situation where if we compare the three, where two got theirs and one did not, right? You said open to the public was a concern, but one of the ones that got the permit was open to the public. The proximity to children, sure, there were plenty of children in attendance at the rodeo. You know, the idea that <clears throat> It's on school property or on town property. The other one occurred in the school, right? We had, it was fenced in, it was closed. People were not gonna be allowed to access that until they were 21. It's close to the pool, but there's a pool and a wall, a, fa a fence and a wall around the pool, and then there's a fence around this event. So I just, I, if I'm a local business trying to figure out what I can do, I look at these three most recent cases and anything you can hold against the one that you denied, one of the other two was also doing that. The feedback I would give to the Board of License is your role that they've met all of the requirement as I read the charter, right? And I understand what I understand from Mass General Law, that if they met the requirements for the one day license, right? Check. Let's go to the next part of that. What rules and regulations do I need to be concerned with to ensure the public interest for safety? I think Anne Marie said she had an issue with location. I could understand that, but I think there's a process in this that, that, that we need to have that come up and have that discussion. Is there an appeal process? No. Why is there not one? It's not in the bylaw. I would ask if, that, if, if, if the town or the council believes that there should be an appeal, an appellate authority uh, associated with this, they should include that in the bylaw. And it might be something that we could take back and address within the bylaw. I guess my question to you is, how can we make this process better? Um, just speaking for myself personally, I think having more time, so there perhaps would have been an opportunity. Um, we were listening to this. What was it, two, two, days, days two days before the event was to be, so there wasn't a lot of opportunity. Maybe that is something to consider, about adding the possibility whether you meet twice a month or special meetings just to be more accommodating to organizations and businesses in town. <laughs> I do thank you very much. This was, again, it's not, it's really meant to be how can we be better partners to our community and that's everyone involved.